so many times you reached out to me but i turned my whole back cause i didn't think you heard what i needed but now you're everything you're everything to me and i can live without you God, you're everything I just want to say thank you I was lost and you found me I was dead inside and you breathed into me and brought these bones alive I just want to say thank you thank you for saving Thank you for loving me unconditionally God stood with open arms But I run away Cuz I was scared of the pain that came with trust Oh oh But I keep running back to your embrace because i knew you still be there you never leave everlasting father in the mighty name of jesus lord we approach your throne of grace and mercy this morning we adore you we worship you we bless your name Father, we lift your name on high this morning, my God. Father, you are good to us. You are faithful, my Father. Your goodness is so much in our lives, oh God. Father, you have carried us through. You have watched over us, oh God. You have kept us, my Father. You have sustained us, oh God. And this morning, we approach your throne of grace, my God, with confidence. The Lord, you who was faithful yesterday, you are faithful today. To encourage us, my God, to fight for us, to overcome on our behalf, oh mighty Father, to uplift us, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you even for this opportunity that we get to, to study your word, my Father. I pray that you may speak to us. I pray, my God, that even as we look at the lessons from the early church, my God, that you are speaking to us through, my God. I pray, Jehovah Master, that our lives will be changed, O God, that Father, as a church, will continue to hold on to you, will continue to emulate you, my God, will continue to live by your word, the Lord, you may be glorified. So, Father, we commit this time of devotion to you asking the Lord let your spirit be upon us give us um, understanding my God may you help our minds oh God and above all may you draw us closer to you to this morning this we've prayed believing and trusting in Jesus name amen and amen a very good morning to you thank you so much for tuning in to today's time of devotion and prayer we bless the Lord for you this week we continue with our, you know, we've been going through a journey of learning a few lessons from the early church. They underwent a lot of persecution <clears throat> um, and challenges, but nonetheless, they withstood through all that. They stood firm and they were able to overcome. And even today, as the body of Christ here in Kenya, and even as ICC Kitengela, we have a few lessons that we can learn from the, from the early church. And this morning, we're going to be looking at... Um, a lesson that we can draw from the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19 and our topic is the church has been given authority in Christ this is what the Bible says in Luke chapter 10 verse 19 the Bible says that um, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy nothing will harm you these are the words of Jesus when he was sending out um, the 72. And they had come back with a report, and then Jesus responds again to them. And he says that uh, all authority, all, all power has been given to, um, let me read that again. I have given you all authority to trample over snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the, all the, all the power of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Jesus spoke these words to the disciples, to the 72, to encourage them. 
and to remind them of their position. You know, the word authority has synonyms and some of the synonyms include power, dominion, command, or to be in charge, control, and such things. And you and I, right now, being the church, we have that same power, that same power to bring down strongholds, that same power to triumph and to trample over snakes and scorpions, over the evil that arises in our society, the power to silence every voice of darkness, to, to, to destroy the power of darkness that arises against the church. We have the power. And so this morning, I am here to remind us, child of God, remember that you have authority. The authority that's, that Christ has given to you and me is to overcome. A power that overcomes, a power that triumphs, a power that that conquers whatever evil that comes against us. And the Bible says that nothing will harm you. And so today, if you are there and stuff is going on in your life and you feel afraid, or there are things that you know you need to face and to take them head on in prayer, go and face them in prayer, knowing that all authority has been given to you. Jesus was given this authority and he gave it to us as the church, as his representation here on earth, to bring down strongholds, to overcome, to trample over snakes and scorpions, and nothing will harm us. So this morning, I'm here to remind us that as we continue with our work of, of salvation, may we be confident it's one thing to be given authority or to be put in charge and it's another thing to walk in that authority. And I believe that the Holy Spirit is calling us to now walk in the power that we have been given, to walk in that authority, to arise and walk in the power, in the control, in the command and dominion that we have been given as a body of Christ. Shall we pray? Our Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for your word to us today. We thank you, Lord, that you are reminding us of the position that you have given to us who have believed in you. Thank you, Lord, that you're reminding us the power that you have given to us, my God, the command that you have given to us, my Father, that you have put us, oh God, in a place of power, my God, to overcome to trample over snakes and scorpions, my God, over any evil that arises against us, my Father. You give us that power, O oh God, and you tell us that nothing will harm us. Lord, we come before you this morning as your children, those that you have called to yourself, those that you have redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. Father, how I pray that you will help us to arise, O oh God to live our lives, O oh God, as soldiers in the kingdom of God, a soldier that has been given all the equipment that we need, my Father. Lord, we thank you because in this world we are not by ourselves. You told us, my God, that you will be with us to the end of the age, my God. And today, Father, you are reminding us of the authority and the power that we have. Lord, we see a lot of evil arise in our communities, in our societies, O oh God, in our families, things that, Lord, we should take down down in prayer, my Father, as the church, O oh God, and to speak against as the church, my Father. I pray today, O oh God, where we have lost hope, my Father, where we have lost our belief, O oh God, in this power that you have given to us. Father, may you, may you refresh us once again. May you fill us once again, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you give us the power to bring down strongholds, O oh God. This morning we stand, O oh God, in the gap on behalf of family in this nation. My Father, we bring down strongholds that are arising to, to bring down families, O oh God. Strongholds that are coming in, O oh God, to discourage believers from gathering, O oh mighty Father. Any stronghold that arises, O oh God, and even the stronghold of discouragement and, and disbelief, O oh mighty Father, we cancel it right now. We bring it down in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you because you call us to the place of victory, a place, O oh God, of being a conqueror, Jehovah God. God, a place of walking in freedom, my God, a place of walking in knowledge of who we are in Christ Jesus. Father, how we bless you. And we ask, my Father, that as the body of Christ, may we walk in that power, may we walk in that authority, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that today 
even as you send us out, O oh God, to our neighborhoods, my Father, to be ambassadors of Christ, to our workplaces, O oh God, to be your representation, my Father, as you send us, my God. I pray, King of all glory, that we'll go out confident, confident in the God that we have believed in, confident, O oh God, to stand in what is right, my Father, and to know that no, nothing shall harm us, O oh God, according to your word. No evil, my God, shall come against us in the name of Jesus. So, Father, I pray that the snakes and scorpions, my God, that you want us to, to trample against, oh God, to trample upon, my Father. Today, my God, remind us of the position that we have. Give us that power, oh God, The Lord, we may do that which you want us to do in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Lord, how we thank you and how we bless you, how we praise you, my God. As we go out, my Father, we pray that you may give us your confidence. Lord, may you clothe us with the spirit of power, with the spirit of self-control, my God, with the spirit of a sound mind, almighty Father, that as we go out, my God, we will be confident in what we do. We will be confident and we will bring glory and honor to you, my Father, to your glory, my God. We thank you, Lord, and we ask that, Lord, may you cover us with your precious blood. May you grant us favor, O oh God, any doors that will knock today, may they be opened, those that are according to your will for us, my Father. I pray that you may bless the work of our hands, my God, as we go out. May we come in, O oh God, in the evening with our baskets filled with your blessings and with your provisions in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you and we surrender ourselves to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day ahead. Say thank you. I was lost and you found me. I was dead inside and you breathed into me and brought these bones alive. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for loving me and God. God, and I don't deserve you, you God. I don't deserve you, you God. But you keep on loving me. say thank you I was lost and you found me I was dead inside and you breathed into me and brought these bones alive I just want to say thank you thank you for saving me thank you for loving me and kind Ali God I just wanna say thank you I was lost and you found me I was dead inside and you breathed into me and brought these bones alive I just wanna say thank you Thank you, Lord.